Um, the trip to California was designed to bring attention to uh, the president's signature issue and campaign promise, the wall. Um, during the overnight uh, trip, President uh, Trump examined eight recently constructed prototypes for a wall in San Diego near the U.S.-Mexico border. The prototypes alone cost taxpayers between $2.4 million and $4 million, in addition to the $18 billion the administration, the administration is asking us to spend. Uh, during the trip, the president said that the wall would stop, and I quote, 99% of illegal entries across the border from Mexico and characterize those who would try to cross the border as, quote, professional mountain climbers, um, unquote, in his ability to scale barriers. Um, Mr. Uh, Vitello, would a wall prevent 99% of illegal entries at the border? Where we have the investment in a complete fashion technology, infrastructure, mobility to the border, we will be much more effective. Uh, but there's in, in no metrics condition. to know it's 99%, is that correct? We have uh, an, uh, a metric that we call the interdiction effectiveness rate, and what that does is it gives us a, a, a box score, if you will, about how many people enter and how many are, are caught, and where you have this infrastructure in complete fashion, when we have a barrier, when you have access to that barrier, when you have sensors that cue the response for agents, and when you have a, a law are, are you, I'm response sorry, and resolution, I, I have limited you do have much higher effectiveness. So, so no, you, nobody on this panel, is anybody else on this panel can attest to 99% will actually be, um, of the illegal entries are gonna be prevented? I didn't hear the quote directly, but there was a briefing that he was given by the chief patrol agent in San Diego, Rodney Scott, which talked about the 99% decrease in activity in San Diego based on this investment in personnel, technology, infrastructure. That was part of the brief. I, I had not heard what okay. the, the directly. Thank you. Ms. Grady, do you, can you, do you believe that it's gonna stop the 90% and do you know where the source of that information would be? Uh, no, I do not know the source of the information. I believe it's probably, as Chief Vitello indicated, that the impact that we saw when we made the investments in, in San Diego uh, associated with the, what they saw in the positive impact of the combination of investments of resources and technology, infrastructure, and people. Okay, so so we still not get into 99%. Ms. Gambler, do you have any insight on this? Uh, from the B GAO perspective, uh, we uh, aren't familiar with the, the source of that data. Uh, I would uh, just add, as I had mentioned in my oral marks, we do have ongoing work looking at DHS's plans for the, the wall system, and, and we'll be reporting the results of that work later this year. Thank you. You know, I've been a member of this committee for some, like, 14 months, and it's amazing at how we, we hear from different people I talk about um, a wall and what it would be effective for and whatnot. We see photos of tunnels going under walls. We see... Um, certainly contraptions being used to, to send drugs over a wall and um, you know this is something where we're just dumping 18 billion dollars without metrics does not seem like a use a good use of taxpayer dollars and making decisions without having the data it's been a frightening pattern by this president who continuously makes false statements about border security and immigration to the American public to promote uh, this central campaign promise on the wall it's to the point where senior ICE spokesmen quit because of DHS um, intent on spreading false information about undocumented immigrants escaping arrest in Oakland. You know, more frightening is DHS's willingness to adopt the president's misguided views on border security and institutionalize them at a federal agency charged with defending and protecting our country when the facts show otherwise. Uh, Mr. Vitello, let me tell you, I represent the Port of Los Angeles, and I appreciate the work that your men and women do at the Port of Los Angeles, and they tell me, and we have been hearing um, from CBP that they need staffing, and I'm all for that. I am all for giving you the resources for the ports of entry, putting more money into where I believe there's a greater threat of national security and terrorism, which are the airports and the seaports. And so know that I will continue to advocate for more funding at our ports of entries, um, especially at our seaports, because I have seen firsthand the work that your men and women do. I appreciate that. I have a much bigger issue with the wall, as you probably can tell today. Um, so thank you all for being here. And with that, my time has expired, and we have to run to votes. I yield back.